Well hello there folks, thanks for clicking on the video and joining me on the channel again. Um, I've got a really exciting day today, I'm really looking forward to it. First bit of building I've been doing in a wee while. Uh, so I've sort of decided I want to try and do a little bit more cooking at this particular camp, uh, the sort of lower camp, the big camp. And uh, I'm finding I don't really have any sort of proper food prep area. Uh, so I'm going to build an actual table today, uh, so really excited about it. I've been sort of playing around with some ideas in my actual head, so hopefully it'll work. Uh, so I've already got some materials that I've been sort of collecting over the last few weeks. I'll show you that just now, and then I do need to go off up into the woods and actually gather some more. Uh, so we'll get cracking. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So I've got seven main beams uh, there just now. And basically what I'm going to be doing is it's going to be two tripods uh, connected at the top with an actual bar, uh, um, stick just for actually hanging pots and pans. Um, and then two sticks across the actual tripod and then the main actual table. Hopefully we're getting a picture of that. Uh, so basically what I've got there just now is the actual, the two tripods and the actual main beam. What I need to do is go off up into the woods itself and I said get the uh, the main bits for the actual table. Um, so I said I'm probably looking for about eight to ten pieces, maybe about sort of five foot long and about two, three inches wide. Uh, so that's what we'll do just now. We'll head off up and we'll we'll get cracking on that. Bit scary but just to sort of show you why I was a bit nervous about the actual shelter um, being taken down by the actual storm just look at the amount of downed trees and I said it's been a little bit scary sort of wander around today so I think I'm going to be moving away from this area it's just been very very noisy very creaky uh, from the point of view of the actual trees still sort of moving around Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. A gorgeous area, a gorgeous actual place, so really like it. It's one of those sort of places at the top I've always sort of thought about actually camping up there. Uh, but again, there is so many down trees up there, so I just think from a safety point of view, it's better not to. So I actually just watched uh, Lundy's um, bushcraft and wild camping uh, video a few nights ago. And basically they got caught out just basically the, the weather completely changed when they were actually out in the middle of nowhere and they're at their camp uh, again a lot of trees were actually down but as they were out there the trees started coming down and um, so they ended up sort of bugging out very very quickly um so quite a scary video to actually watch definitely worth a, an actual watch uh, i'll pop a link to it down below uh, just so you can actually see it but uh yeah fairly scary so always 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 got to veer in the side of safety um, but as I said, I'm just going to move away from this area because the, it definitely seems to be an awful lot creakier over here than it is over at the actual camp. So 
So you'd be amazed how much time is actually spent wandering back and forth <laughs> gathering resources on these videos. Uh, so it's a huge amount of time, that's why I sort of over the last few weeks when the weather's not been that great I've been sort of coming out into the woods uh, just to sort of gather things up as best I possibly can otherwise I'd be spending basically all day just collecting uh, the actual sticks so as I said we'll get these back to camp and we'll get them uh, prepped so there's all the actual resources for it itself now that's all dead for wood, none of it's actually been cut down, none of it's live trees, that's literally just wood that's actually lying around in the ground. Uh, and what I love to do personally myself is just actually take that and actually make it into something that uh, um, I can actually use myself. Um, but as a lot of work taking it back. Okay, so a wee bit of a rest and then it's going to be a case of actually just getting all that prepped. I have to say, I just absolutely love this Pioneer chair. It is brilliant, it is just so, so comfy. You can just sit here for ages, just sort of watching the world go by, or today, listening to the trees creaking. Uh, it's a little bit unnerving, but the wind does seem to have calmed down a little bit for now, but I'll be keeping an ear out, and if it does sort of get up and the trees start making the noises that they were. At this particular camp, there's not actually that many down. There's a couple down over there, but the other bit that I was sort of showing you earlier on is just pretty much devastated, it's just unbelievable. Um, one of the other things I was wanting to do today as well uh, was I'm going to go back up to the small camp and actually check it out and see if there's any more damage to it. So I don't know if you watched the last video, I'll put a link to it on one of these sides uh, just so you can actually see it. Uh, but the camp itself was basically destroyed by an animal. Um, I wasn't quite sure what it actually was but during the actual video itself I didn't know when I was shooting it but it was after I'd sort of set everything up or, or tidied everything up and actually packed everything away just as I was actually leaving I went and moved a piece of gear and uh, there was quite a lot of badger scat uh, so I just sort of took some photographs to actually 100% verify it and it is 100% badger uh, so a little bit nervous about sleeping up on that one just in case I wake up mostly knows with a badger they're not the friendliest of beasts uh, so I'll need to see what happens but I'm going to still set up the trail camera up there so I can actually maybe get some video of it um, which would be well cool if I could actually get some footage off the actual thing itself but uh, I might have to just back off that camp and just leave it to the badgers um, so there's obviously a set around somewhere I've never actually heard or seen them uh, in any of the previous trips so not quite sure but uh, I'm just going to sit here have a little bit of a drink a bit of a, heat, a rehydration that was really hard work uh, and then we're going to get some of the, the wood prepped after we've done the wood prepped, I'm actually just going to straight in for lunch. And to be perfectly honest, I'm wanting to spend more time building today than anything else. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm just going to be doing soup. <laughs> Scotch broth, can't wait. Really looking forward to it, warm me up. Um, but it's literally just a case of a bit of soup because I really want to try and get this thing finished today. Okay, see you in a minute. Now one other thing I'm going to be doing as well is just taking as much of the bark off as possible just when I'm actually cutting it.
obviously just using the Wild Camping International titanium pot. Absolutely love it to bits. Perfect size. But I said cheating today, just going for broth. I have to say actually I'm really looking forward to it, it's quite cold so this will just warm me up let's get it in the fire Cheers everyone, just nice and simple. Just woke up this morning and thought, you know what, it's so cold out at camp today, I'm just gonna get a bit of scotch broth, get me warm up, and warmed up I should say, and it's really nice actually, just as you're uh, sort of <laughs> taking it, you can actually feel the warmth go into your chest. Really nice. Oh, so, so good. So I'm just gonna sit and finish this. Um, so that's the sort of main uh, cross pieces actually all sort of cut to length etc uh, so the next bit is just really case of actually just put the tripod together or the two tripods together uh, which shouldn't take me too long uh, and then it's just basically a case of actually just tying on the support beams uh, and then sort of getting the table try to figure out exactly where to put it i quite fancy the concept of almost making this sort of completely um enclosed apart from just sort of one path actually in uh, basically, just in case there is any sort of bores or alternatively deer or coming in or uh, damaging the actual camp. So uh, I might very well actually put it beside the actual sawing horse, uh, but I'll see how we go. Uh, but I said, I'm just going to sit, chill, and let this warm me up. Oh, so good. This doesn't have to be super tight because they're going to need to move around anyway.
Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's part one. Hope you're still getting a chance to see this. <laughs> I've lost so much light just in the last few minutes. I'm just going to tie them up a bit sort of in the loose side just now uh, just so I can actually sort of play around with it uh, but I'm just conscious I just want to get it done uh, so I can sort of see what it looks like
Okay, so there it is. So basically, it's just a big table that I can actually work on and sort of food prep and everything. Now, I am really, the sun's just gone down. Okay, so basically I'm going to lose light very, very quickly. Uh, so that's why I'm sort of rushing towards the end. But just absolutely brilliant. And then I can hang my pots and pans across the actual top. Uh, just when I'm actually cooking. Now, when I come back next time, I'll do a few adjustments on it just to sort of make sure that it's all sort of spot on. Okay, so I am going to have to sort of play around with it um, just to sort of get everything right. But basically, <coughs> food prep area, uh, pots and pans across the actual top, key, things like that hanging off the actual side. So it's absolutely brilliant. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, do you know what? I really, really fancy that. Um, but apologies, I'm fighting with the light again. I always seem to be fighting with the light over the last wee while. Uh, it doesn't matter how early I actually come out, I always seem to get caught out a little bit. Uh, so I'll probably need to lower that side down a little bit. That side seems to be pretty much bang on. And then I'll just sort of trim down all the various parts on the actual table itself. But uh, no, really, really pleased with that. It's going to make a massive difference to sort of food prep. Um, who knows, I'll sort of start a separate uh, YouTube channel just on cooking. Only joking. Okay, so... Again, apologies for running out of light, uh, but thanks very, very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you have, please, please, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.